Okay guys, Russ Letterman. We got Rick. Rick Runsley. Rick Runsley and Albert DeCandia. Albert DeCandia? Yep. Oh, okay. I've got an 80 millimeter ED refractor from Stellar View set up with the Binatron 27 and the power switch at low power, just an 80 millimeter refractor with the 3D eyepieces. And um, I'm gonna get the double double in and these guys are gonna see it in an 80 millimeter refractor in 3D. And you know, if they can say, if they can tell me what they think of it, that would be great. Whether it's positive or negative, but you know how it strikes you. So go ahead and uh, go ahead and take a look, Rick. Yeah, there's, uh, I like the image a lot. There's a lot of depth to the image. It's definitely three-dimensional. It reminds me of, like, the Viewmasters when I was a kid. It, uh, gives you the effect that actually, like, you're, you're flying through space, and, uh, some stars are closer to you and some are further away. It, uh... How the two, do you see the two clusters, the main clusters? Oh yeah, the two main clusters. The one actually is a little behind the other one. The lower cluster seems to be a little receding and the, the top cluster is in the foreground. Um, and there, and it's not just two levels of uh, like the depth perception. You can tell there's, the stars are at different distances. So it, it appears like three-dimensional exactly nice. we got a we got a waxing crescent moon still up pretty substantially but we're here at cherry springs for the uh, black forest star party 2016 so it's going to get a lot darker too pretty cool for an 80 millimeter refractor oh absolutely absolutely it has a pretty good light gathering power i mean it's a nice image check it out yeah. and uh, you can grab the bar and center the image you know move it like around a little down. Sit down sure, sit yeah, that's great. Yeah, sit down and down you can, uh, there's a bar right, there's a bar right over here, just kind of a, a bar. That's just out as in the... If you want to see the bar, yeah, yeah you can do that. Okay. Yeah. It, yeah, it's pretty, it was pretty much centered, isn't it? Yeah, it's centered. There's no motor drive, so it is oh, going to nice. move. Yeah, these are something I've been wanting to try for a while. And I've read a lot about them, but I didn't know what they looked like. Yeah, there's a lot of depth here. Hmm. A lot of receding. And the images in the foreground are popping. Let me focus on that. Oh, yeah. All throughout the field, there's, there's variations of depth. Focusing on the sun, I'm seeing. What do I need to do to move it? Just grab that clutch, you know, that, that bar, and you can move it up, move it down, move it side to side. So you can you can put the clusters in different areas. Get, the yeah, yeah, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to move them around to see what effect the, the 3D has while they're moving. Yeah, okay, it changes. Where they, where they are is affected by the movement of the, the image in the field. It's like where well they are depth-wise, depth right? depth-wise changes, so it looks... Huh. Try to find a favorite spot. You know, it's interactive. I, I like to... It's very it. interactive. I would agree with that. Yeah. yeah, it has to be really cool looking at galaxies and nebulas with that. You know, seeing them, you know, the stars say... Like, in in the foreground and the galaxy in the background or vice versa. Yeah, you can you do know, that. With the nebulosity, you know, like a nebula, that would be cool, you know, it's in a rich field. It, it really does look different than, than, than any other eyepiece I've ever tried. I've never seen this kind of image before. It was 3D, just like Rick was saying, like the old, uh, what were they called? The Viewmasters. View master. view yeah. <laughs> yeah, but when we got his kids, this is, Similar to that, but much much nicer image. Yeah, more refined. Yeah, yeah much yeah. more refined. Hmm. You know, the universe isn't flat. 
it's you know right. everything is at vastly different yeah. distances. So, so why do why do the eyepieces we normally use it looks flat, even in vinyl viewers? Yeah, that's right. This is showing you the way it really it should appear. I wish our, our regular eyepieces showed us like this. When I first bought vinyl viewers, I assumed it, it, that it would look like this in the vinyl viewers, mm -hmm. but none of the eyepieces do this. There's it an optical array in one eyepiece, and when you merge them, you're actually experiencing depth perception just as you experience it in everyday life. Optically, it's identical. Hmm. So it's not like a red That's and blue so or any electronic thing or right. you know, any flashing thing. It's just pure optics. They're one-tenth wave, fully multi-coded. And, you know, you see like a really pure depth perception. Uh, the, the optics are very sharp, too. And, I mean, this is an 80-millimeter refractor, you know. So the cool thing about the, the 3D is no matter what power, our 8 by our 8x42 handheld binoculars or 80 millimeter refractor or like you know a 20 inch daub SCTs 11 inch 10 inch they they all show the 3D a little differently and in different ways that are all really neat within themselves and the light transmission is impressive oh yeah I mean they're fully multi-coated with um, 0.25 percent dielectric coating. I'm surprised I'm seeing it this 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 like bright actually. You know? Yeah, with the moon, with the moon out over there. Well, yeah. This is going to be a good it, night, I'm telling yeah, you. Yeah, look at this Milky Way. Down in the middle of the room. I mean, come on. Really I wonder if this could pick up the Milky Way. Probably not. <laughs> I'm holding the camera up there anyway. It could probably get the moon. Maybe. I'll have this is a new camera. So yeah, you know what I mean? It's a really exciting image, I must say. I'll, uh, I'll I want to try them in the yeah. CPC 1100. Yeah, absolutely. Hey, guess what?